सर्विस प्रिमिटिव नाउ द नेम इज क्वाइट यू नो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड प्रिमिटिव इज नॉट हियर अ ट्रेडिशन और समथिंग रिलेटेड टू हिस्ट्री सर्विस प्रिमिटिव द प्रिमिटिव हेयर मीन्स द फंक्शन द ऑपरेशन द प्रोसेस सो अ सर्विस वेन इट इज रिलेटेड टू अ नेटवर्क it is a function for example if if ever you have done programming add function factorial function fibonacci function send function receive function these are the functions so serve the service will have number of operation it is going to offer number of function for example i'm just giving example as add and fact we'll talk about these functions and these are available to the user processes and they whoever user process is accessing this service the primitives or operation will be available So, if you remember the protocol stack I talked about, protocol stack is whichever reference model you are adopting, all the layer will have defined protocol, one layer per protocol. That is the protocol stack. Now, normally when we are actually dealing it in the real scenario, this protocol stack will be in your operating system. Okay, so it can it will be in your laptop, it will it can be in your mobile because they both have now operating systems. So the protocol stack that is the layer of proto stack proto calls. they are nothing but system calls and these system calls are nothing but functions so listen connect x accept receive send disconnect these are functions so every every function is nothing but service so primitives for the connection oriented services they are quite different from those in the connectionless services you will see there is quite a similarity but differences also now how do we use these primitives or the services are used in actual communication we are taking the actual example how the communication is going to take place how the service primitives are used service operations are used so there are two machines here client machine and a server machine these are nothing but two simple machines like your machine and my machine so how this operating system will contain a protocol stack that protocol stack is nothing but the service primitives and how does it work how does this service primitive service operation which you see here on the the top these function will be applied this will be used so there is a proper step follow one by one so we are talking about a simple protocol that implements the service using the acknowledged data ground because every time you need to get an acknowledgement right so we will be talking about the actual tcp and udp's connections here you will know how the connection works so this is a connection oriented communication so you are trying to understand a communication oriented communication uh, flavor what will happen first first this server now server is like a the shop owner now it has to open the shop, shop so that the buyers can come the customers can come so first thing the server will do it will execute a function called listen so that it can show it can indicate that i am ready to accept the incoming connections so server will do the first thing as listen and this is a block waiting for an incoming connection now when you can this server cannot uh, you know block other systems so it has to be suspended what i am trying to suggest here is this listen is implemented whenever you write this code it is implemented by making it as a blocking system call but now the server process will be suspended because if the shop is open and no customer is coming it cannot block everything so it is suspended now but the client is now coming so the first client comes and it will execute a connect so it will execute it will the function connect it will use to connect to the server now connects function will have all the information which servers it has to connect so there can be multiple servers so it has to give the say ip address or the port it want to talk so the connection or connect is the is the proper function service primitive now what operating system is doing the connect call when it is established the operating system will send a packet to its layer same layer peer because it is asking for the connection that is a customer is coming and customer wants to enter the shop okay the client process is now suspended because if he has asked and the door is not open it will wait a client process will be suspended because there is no response coming from because it is it is waiting for the response 
Now, when the client packet is sent to the server, it is received by the server. The operating system at the other end will check, okay, whether listen he the server is in the listen mode or not, okay. So now it will unblock the listener. As I said, the listener will be at the block state. It will unblock the listener, and the server now establishes the connection with a proper call that okay, now you can come inside my shop. So that is the accept call server will do. Server will say the accept call. Now this sends because there will be a response every time in a correction oriented server there will be an acknowledgement. So there will be an accept response to the client to accept correction. So connect request has gone from client to server. Server is saying okay ready I will accept. So accept response will come. So once the arrival of this uh, response will come. The client will activate. It will release the client. So now, client and server they are both running, and a proper connection has been established. We are discussing a proper connection-oriented communication. Now, server will execute a receive because now when you go inside the shop, you have to ask for something. So the server uh, will say, "Okay, tell me what do you want." Okay, server will execute a receive because it is accepting the first request. Now, receive call will again block the server. The server will say, "Okay, what do you want?" Now it goes, "Okay, it is not duty of uh, clients to say what." The client will do what? Client will now execute a send. What is the request? For example, the buyer or the customer is asking for a potato chips. So this is the request. So client send to this execute the send to transmit its request, followed by the execution of receive to get the reply. Because it has to get the the reply from the server machine also so the request packet here unblocks the server so it can handle the request okay the request packet because now this is the request that, that i want the potato chips and once the potato chips is been delivered or given to the customer when the work is done the server use the send to return the client the answer to the client okay so this will be the send the fourth point you are seeing reply so once request for potato chips is there the potato chips will be given to the the customer now this packet will unblock the client because it has to check whether this potato chip packet is okay or not it will wait for some time it will if it is okay when client has taken the chips packet it will execute the disconnect because it has to terminate the connection the the say the trade is over and it will initiate the disconnect Uh, because this uh, initial disconnect is blocking it will suspend the uh, client and it will send the packet to server saying the connection is no longer needed now the the transaction is being done the server has to also issue the disconnect because it has to acknowledge that okay you are saying me to disconnect okay i am also disconnect and then both the parties when they are disconnecting the connection will be released so now client get the server packet of disconnection the client process is released and the connection is broken the user or the customer comes out of the uh, shop now the the communication is over but there may be certain things in a uh, unreliable connection that is there can be big messages if a uh, big message are sent there will be transmission errors in the unreliable kind of uh, communication